All right, hey guys, so I don't know how this video is gonna turn out, but I thought I'd go ahead and just do like a cleaning my warmer dishes with you guys and kind of a chit chat. I'm, I kind of want to do a loaf chopping video, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to that. I don't know, like I don't have any, first of all, I don't have a microwave, that's my first problem. My second problem is I don't have a fancy cutter. So our microwave broke like probably six years ago and we kept looking to like replace it. And I was like, you know what? Why, why are we even looking? I'm like, we don't even use a microwave. So I do not have a microwave to warm up the loaves and then chop them up really nice. So I don't know. But if I do decide to do one, I'll do like Sarah, things I love 86 does where she does like a chit chat or like, you know, if you have questions or something. I'm gonna just rinse this off really quick because this is my sponge. I don't know what's in that frame. I'll do like the Canada Kim high. <laughs> so I like to take my warmer dishes and just clean them out every once in a while. You can kind of see that they get a little bit yucky. This one especially, my white Glade one, gets really nasty. So I like, sorry, I like to clean it out and just see that. My Wal Walgreens, these are my Walgreens. My Walgreens don't get that bad. So, yeah. So what I do is I just use good old Barkeeper's Friend. And then I use just an old sponge. This is like super nasty, so I'm sorry. But this, these are the ones that don't scratch the surface. So I don't know what this is going to look like. I don't even know if I'm in screen. Am I in screen? Okay. <laughs> I can't see. I've got... So I just put a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend in there. You don't need much. And then I just scrub. Okay, so I'm just gonna like chit chat here for a minute. So basically I'm doing this video right now so I don't look at the VCS restock. I am trying really hard to be on a low buy right now and I don't need to be watching the VCS site today. So I just filmed my Lush buy one get one haul and now I'm cleaning these out. Okay, so that's what it looks like once you get it kind of all pasted up. Like you can see there's no scratching on the surface or anything. So let's go ahead and just rinse this bad guy. I've been following the Fly Lady now for about, I think I'm a month in. And see, this is what they look like when they are completely done. Did I miss a spot? No, that's just water. Okay, so it looks totally good. So I'll just set that over there. All right, let's go for the white one because this one is the worst. I, the scoopable wax, oh, let me update you on that really quick. So I did the scoopable wax yesterday and a couple people tried to get the, the, the wax out with it being half scooped and you can put it in the freezer to kind of firm it up a little bit and you can still get it out. One of my friends did it and then also the girl that I talked about yesterday that originally did the video, she tried it as well. So if you have a little bit of trouble, I also had a full like brand new one that I had not scooped into. And she, or no, wait, wait, where was I going? I, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I had a brand new one that was kind of like in, not in the sun, but it was in a really warm spot in the, where I keep my wax and it was hard to get out. So I put it in the freezer and then it came out okay. So that's what it looks like when it's all scrubbed up. There's still like a little bit of, let's see if I can get that little spot out right there. So anyways, that's the update on that. So it does work, you just have to put it in the freezer. I try not to get the bottoms wet because they have the little like brown spots. So there's that one. Um, there's still a little bit of stuff in there. Let me just try to get it. So I was watching someone's organization video this morning and it kind of inspired me to get back in my computer room 
wax room, whatever, and really just get in there and try to de-stash some stuff because I'm just feeling overwhelmed. I guess Fly Lady 2 kind of encourages that because she is always having you declutter and I don't know if I'm in screen, so I'm sorry if I am not. I'm, like the camera is like kind of at a weird angle. So you see it only takes a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. Also in my video yesterday, I noticed that I said when I was cutting it, I was like, oh yeah, this is like probably 1.5 ounces. And I realized that the scoopable is only four. So those little slices I was cutting, there was no way they were two ounces. <laughs> I watched it back and I was like, ah, oh, crap. Because I can't edit, so I just have to go with the flow. I was like, yeah, there's no way those are like two ounces. So I don't know how this video is going to turn out, so hopefully you guys don't mind a crap video. Which is probably what all my content is anyways, crap. So I think what I'm going to do is get in there and like I have a lot of VCS loaves and try to cut those up and get those stored in bags and try to maybe de-stash half of them. Because the one thing with VCS that I, here's one, here's a 25 watt mainstays warmer. Let's clean that one up and see how that one does. Anyways, so big thing with VCS is she always has a lot of loaves. I do notice though that recently she started like getting more four packs and that's always nice but I have a lot of loaves so I want to start chopping them up and maybe de-stashing half of them or if I really like the scent I'll keep the whole thing but I don't need a whole loaf of one cent. Like that's rare for me to like, like a cent that much. And also too, I noticed that when I warm through things like that, I get sick of them. And then I just have so much wax that when I go to put them away, it's like, when am I ever gonna get back to it? I don't know. So I don't, I don't know. I just feel like minimizing my stash like a ton. Like I said, I've only paved with super parts last week. I bought like two clamshells of the same scent. I bought multiples because I, I knew that I liked that scent. And then some potion bags. So we are almost done here. Do I still need to talk or film for this part? I don't know. Do I have anything else to talk about? <laughs> if you would be interested in seeing a loaf cutting video and then like a Q&A at the same time, that would be fun. If I could do maybe do two things at once, I don't know. That might be hard for me. <laughs> so. How are you guys doing that are banning? I, I really enjoy talking to you guys in the comment area. That's like, I don't know, that's just like a lot of fun for me. And then I recognize some of you guys on Instagram. So there's that guy all clean. I think there's some mostly clean. And then I recognize you guys for, on Instagram and I'm like, hey, it's just like fun to see you guys on Instagram, like to see what you're warming because if you don't do videos, then I'll never know, you know, but on Instagram, it's a whole different world over there. And I have to thank my friend Candy, Candy Elizabeth. If you've seen her on the board, she's a really sweet girl. She was like, you should start an Instagram. And I was like, uh, I wasn't really sure. <laughs> And then I got in there and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. You can do short little videos. I do a lot of Lush over there, like Lush stuff. Uh, that's a lot of fun and it's a lot easier. I was filming them before, but that's just a lot of work. And you're trying to like relax and take a bath. It's just easier on Instagram. You can just take a short little one minute video. So there's that guy, he looks pretty good. So if we just take a little bit of time and just clean out your, I have a black mainstays too. This one you can't really see that well, but it's dirty. So we just take a little bit of time. I like to clean them out every once in a while. I do notice that 
when you use the cotton ball method, things usually come out pretty clean because you can, you know, wipe up all the wax and it soaks in. I do, I use the freezer method, so for me, it's just a lot easier to just stick them in the freezer and then they just pop, especially these ones, the mainstays, these ones pop out perfectly. And also, the Walgreens warmer does the same because it doesn't have a ridge. I noticed that with my, with these guys with the ridge, if you don't have a lot of wax in there, it does not pop out clean. Really irritating to try to clean that guy out. So, all right. Okay, that's it, you guys. <laughs> Hopefully this made some sort of sense or I don't know gave you some inspiration to clean your warmers. So there, there they are. I'm just gonna, oh God, I just broke the thing. Okay, <laughs> my tripod is seriously about ready to just like keel over, it is pathetic. All right, so there's my clean warmers. I'm just gonna paper towel them dry, make sure I got them all clean. And if I need to go back in, I will. But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my janky ass camera tripod. Okay, <laughs> talk to you guys later, bye.